a model of success. What characteristics does a successful salesperson have? He's got the right attitude. He's got the right skills. He's got the right knowledge. And these all form his habits. Your emotions are created by three forces. Force one is a personal physiology of biochemistry, structure and movement. Force two is a pattern of focus and belief, which is in values, rules and identity. Force three is a pattern of language, which is questions, metaphors and incantations. Our success or failure is determined by a set of sequences. Our behavior determines our feelings. Feelings produce attitudes. Attitudes responsible for our beliefs. And that is how we are programming ourselves. The question is, are you moving towards success or away from failure? Three facts. Fact one, the only person in your life who determines your success is you. Fact two, all successful people take charge of their thinking. Fact four, no one gets successful alone. Belief systems. Empowering beliefs are limiting beliefs. Are you motivated towards what you want or to move away from what you don't want? If we don't know where we are going, any road will take us. Managing our emotions. We need to assert ourselves how aware are we of our behaviours? Are we able to empathise with people? Can we problem solve? E plus R equals O, which means event plus response equals the outcome. How do you respond to the events in your life? Assertiveness. When the going gets tough, can you assert yourself when necessary and speak up? Can you negotiate effectively? Can you coexist with diverse personality style? Can you handle constructive criticism. Persistence. Persistence is the difference between knowing and doing. Nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than the unsuccessful people with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarding genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelict. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. Kelvin Coolidge, 30th President of the United States. Intentions. What are your intentions to achieve your goals? What do you intend to do? When? Functional fantasies. Anything worth doing is worth doing. I am responsible for my own results. I cannot blame anyone else for my results. Work is play. Make your work fun. In every adversity are hidden the seeds of victory. Things don't get better by accident. They get better by appropriate action. Commitment is the key to excellence. An old Zig Ziglar said, if I give others what they want and need, they will give me what I want and need. That is the definition of selling. Make a decision. Take action. What is your decision to be? What actions will you take? Do you sincerely want to grow your sales? Are you ready to take a quantum leap to grow your sales? Late Stephen Covey encouraged us to begin with the end in mind. What do you want to achieve? Set yourself a 90 day objectives based on the following criteria. Set practical objectives. Are they realistic, attainable, known and understood? Are you clear about what you want to achieve? Set your objectives on having X value of high value prospects in your goals and in the next 90 days how many low value prospects will you be working on? Be clear about what you want. What do you want to achieve? Turn your want into a goal. Write your goal down. Get yourself a 3x5 goal card. 
Write your goal out on the card, what you want to achieve. Keep the card in your wallet or purse and read the card at least three times a day. Mm -hmm.